Hello students, today I am going to discuss about principal stresses and principal plane. Uh, we have seen in my previous lectures when a material is subjected to plane stress system which consists different stresses uh, like stresses in x direction, stresses in y direction and uh, shear stresses. So the resulting normal stress and the tangential stress on a plane varies through angle theta and the variation continues as the stress element rotated so the magnitude of normal stress and tangential stress we can say the magnitude of normal stress and tangential stress depends on theta so for design purpose we need maximum positive and the uh, max uh, and the negative value of normal stress so these maximum values of uh, uh, normal stresses are called principal stresses we can say the maximum uh, positive and the maximum negative value of the normal stresses are called principal stresses or we can say principal stress is the maximum normal stress uh, a body can have at its say at its some point and it represent purely normal stress and the plane on uh, which it act is called the principal plane and uh, for such type of plane the value of tangential stresses is zero we consider the tangential stress will be zero on principal plane so we can say the principal plane through a point uh, within material under stresses is that uh, the plane stresses across which is wholly normal and no shear stress exists along the plane. So the normal stress across the principal plane is called principal stress and the plane carrying the maximum normal stress is called major principal plane and the plane carrying the minimum principal stress is called minor principal plane. Generally, uh, at any point in the strain material under a three-dimensional stress system, there are three such planes which are mutually perpendicular to each other and carrying direct stresses and no shear stresses. But here we are considering only the case of plane stresses or two-dimensional stress system where uh, the third principal stress is zero here we are considering only two principal stresses and we are uh, denoting the major principal stress by sigma 1 and the minor principal stress by sigma 2 here in the diagram one you can see a stress system uh, where this stress element is subjected to different uh, stresses normal stresses sigma x in x direction uh, and uh, sigma y in y direction and uh, uh, shear stress tau uh, we are denoting the normal stresses by sigma x and sigma y and uh, the shear stresses by tau uh, and uh, we are considering in in second diagram you can see a wedge shape element so from this stress element we are cutting a wedge element at angle theta and this wedge shape element we will use to find out the equations of principal stresses minor principal stress and major principal stress so you can see this wedge shape element at an angle uh, theta p is an equilibrium where the resultant stress sigma you can see in the wedge shape element the sigma is normal to the inclined plane a b uh, which is called principal plane uh, now uh, while resolving all the forces of this wedge shape element we can find out the equations for the principal stresses so uh, while resolving the forces parallel to the bc we will have the equation that is sigma ab into cos theta p that is equivalent to sigma x ac plus tau bc if we simplify this equation we will get sigma cos theta p equivalent to sigma x ac by ab plus tau bc by ab uh, that is equivalent to uh, sigma x cos theta p plus tau sin theta p now uh, we will get the final equation uh, that is sigma 
सिग्मा सिग्मा माइनस सिग्मा एक्स इक्वल टू टॉ टेन थीटा पी सिमिलरली वेल रिजॉल्विंग ऑल द फोर्सेस अलोंग ए सी वी विल गेट द इक्वेशन सिग्मा ए बी साइन थीटा पी इक्वल टू सिग्मा वाई बी सी प्लस टॉ ए सी इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन सिमिलर टू वॉट वी हैड डन वेल रिजॉल्विंग फोर्सेज पैरल टू बी सी वी विल गेट द फाइनल इक्वेशन दैट इज सिग्मा माइनस सिग्मा वाई इक्वल टू टॉ कॉट थीटा पी हियर इज दिंप्लीफिकेशन वेल सब्सट्रैक्टिंग दीज टू इक्वेशन Sigma uh, sigma minus sigma x equal to tau, uh, tan theta p and the equation sigma minus sigma y equal to tau cot theta p we will get the equation that is sigma x minus sigma y equal to tau in bracket cot theta p minus tan theta p so we will get the equation uh, for the sigma x minus sigma y that is 2 tau divided by tan 2 theta p so we will get the equation or we can find out the value of theta p while uh, by this equation tan 2 theta p equal to 2 tau divided by sigma x minus sigma y with this with the help of this equation we can find out the value of theta p we can define the position of uh principal planes by theta p while adjusting the value of theta p while changing the value of theta p we can define the position of different pl principal planes uh again while multiplying these two equation equation 1 and equation 2 we will get the equation that is sigma minus sigma x into sigma minus sigma y equal to tau square if we simplify this equation this is the here is the simplification of this equation and you will get the equation sigma square minus sigma in bracket sigma x plus sigma y plus in bracket sigma x sigma y minus tau square equal to 0 which is the quadratic equation for the principal stress uh, uh, here is the simplification of this particular equation uh, you can go through it i already simplify this and uh, we will get the final equation that is sigma equal to 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y plus minus under root of sigma x plus sigma y Two uh, sigma x plus sigma y by two whole square plus and uh, in bracket tau square minus sigma x sigma y and if we simplify this further we will get sigma equal to one by two sigma x plus sigma y plus minus under root of in bracket sigma x minus sigma y by two whole square plus tau square. so this is the uh, equation for the principal stress this is the final equation for the principal stress and we can uh, find out the equation for the major principal stress and the minor principal stress from this equation so the major principal stress will be sigma 1 Uh, i already told you that we are denoting this uh, major principal stress or maximum principal stress by sigma 1 that is equivalent to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of in bracket sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau square this is the uh, major principal stress and the minor principal stress we are denoting this as sigma 2 that is equivalent to Uh, sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus in bracket uh, sorry under root in bracket sigma x minus sigma uh, y by 2 whole square plus tau square here the sigma 1 is the major principal stress and the sigma 2 is the minor principal stress you can see the orientation of principal plane in the diagram number 3 uh, that is showing the principal stresses by principal stress element so this was all about the principal stresses and principal plane thank you